Dias, and welcome to another episode of Tropico 4 with me, Nico. Humble Beginnings was my first attempt at uh, some Tropico 4 gameplay for you. Um, and I had so much fun, I continued with Plant Your Plantation. Um, but I've come back to the very first attempt uh, again for Humble Beginnings Part 2 at the behest of one of my uh, uh, viewers, watchers, I guess, uh, all four of you. So, great. Thanks, man. You wanted to see it, you got it. Um, Plus, it's Friday night, and I really got nothing else going on, so I might as well play some video games. Um, now, between the time where I started playing this map and now, they've made the announcement of when Tropical 5 is going to be released, which is not until the 23rd of May, 2014, which is one week from today. Um, however, it's only going to be released on the PC at that time. Uh, console releases sometime in the future. So, I'm not a PC gamer, I'm a console guy. I have the Xbox 360, I have the Xbox One. I have a PC that is kind of okay with, you know, some lower end games. I won't be able to get the high textures or anything. I I'll probably try it, but um, I may just wait until it comes out on the Xbox and uh, and take it from there because uh, I know it's a, it's a laptop. It may or may not work, and I want the best experience possible for the game because I'm really excited about it. Let's uh, let's look into this fishing competition here and see what this is all about. How's, How's it, it hanging, President? Now that you have your very own island, how about a friendly wager? Yeah, sure, I'm down for that. Fishing competition, 500 fish. I can do that in my sleep, Senor. Like easy peasy. Oh, you know what? We do need uh, before we need fish. I guess we need to uh, need to go ahead and build a clinic because you know you gotta have a doctor. You gotta. I mean, with the safety violations that go on around this place, you you kind of need one. Now I'll place it over here, right by the restaurant. And then I've been trying to remind myself to continue to beautify the property as I progress through it. Um, and so I'm going to add a garden in here. Maybe we'll turn it this way. Uh, let's... Can, can I go that way? Yeah, see, that's nice there. See, and it like, provides like a little pathway here. So as you... Beautiful. As you come from the, uh, the restaurante here, you can just... Uh, and get food poisoning. Uh, you can walk straight away right to the clinic. Uh, and I'm going to up the, the build on that because... Um, it's not safe to be without a doctor nearby, especially with my kids. All right, so we got that started. I'm gonna crank up the game speed here a little bit, uh, which is uh, right trigger. Peace and love, dear Presidente. Please oh, accept this chick. flower wreath as a gift yeah. and hear my plea. Stop cutting our trees. Stop digging our soil. You know, she's one of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, hippity dippity. Oh, willy nilly. Alright, so. We probably should build some sort of apartment building or. High school is. Uh, high school is a good idea because now we have. So the church here requires a high school education, which means um, as we start to get new immigrants into town and four more just showed up on this latest boat we will definitely need to uh, start educating the kids who are already on the island so I think we're gonna put it around this way give it a little more space there a little space between the church and the high school I think they would appreciate that and the clinic is almost built very close, very close. There it is. Voila. Ooh, and we exported $5,322 worth of Tropican goods. These guys are still slow going on the tobacco. It's going to take them a while, I think. We got something here. Presidente, we need doctors to improve health care on the island. Doctors are expensive, and we'd have to fire, hire in uh, foreign workers here, it looks like, so 
But it's going to pad my own pockets. $25,000 Swiss bank account ad. Accept. All right. So we've accepted the challenge to export fish, yet we have no fishermen in the water. So um, that one's kind of slipped through the cracks here. Why don't we go ahead and put one of these guys over here. We'll put it by the dock. And see, they're going to fish out into that area immediately in front of them in the green. Let's put another one over here, too. We've got the cash. We're cash rich right now. Money whore. And let's extend this road out. Rude. Actually, let's go around like this. I kind of like the, uh, the curve like that. It's kind of nice. Can we wrap that? Is that going to work now? How about we put that right like there? And then can we connect this like that? Can't connect that? What? That's not any good. Can I go straight ahead with it? And then connect it. And then, uh, and then this one will come here. There we are. And then we'll also put another, uh, another stretch of road out here, so on the beach line here, so that they can uh, they can get out there. Our, I need my construction guys to get out there um, and build, 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 build. There they are. Easy does it. So we're going to actually crank it up to sweatshop here because I need some stuff built now. Pronto, quick. Let's do it. Okay, so it's important to keep an eye on the population growth. Right now we're at 62 people and we have uh, one corn farm right here. Uh, there we are. And then we have another one here. And that's great and dandy. So we're, we can feed about 100 people. Um, but, I mean... It, it all depends on their distance away from the farm as well, um, and then the number of teams, teamsters you have transporting goods. I find um, it's probably a good idea for me to build something else right now to provide food. So the Fisherman's Wharf will come in handy um, as soon as they actually get built, and the high school will help educate the, the sweaty masses. Eight new immigrants have come to Tropico. Hope they're filling in things here. So we're pretty much at full board here on the uh, on the workforce. Um, yeah, and the tenements really aren't gonna. Oh, someone's no protesting. Oh, it's Doctor Fernandez. He heard me talking about him. He knows. Son of a bitch. Okay. So yeah, we know he's living in the apartment. He's a uh, he's single. He's fashionably single, if you know what I mean. I've heard things about the Fernandez kid. Um, skills, he's he's not a good doctor at all. I should just fire him. Um, needs some thoughts. I know, he's just unhappy. He wish he, he could buy something nice. So, some of the options here I have, if I had a prison, I would be able to arrest him for $1,000. Um, if I had a bank, I could bribe him. And if I had a cathedral, I could brand him a heretic and burn him in the streets. I could just eliminate them, which is sending out the militia to go and mow them down with machine guns in the middle of the street. But people tend not to like that very much, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then arrange a quote-unquote accident, which is my favorite, um, where the secret police have to go out and, you know, do business for you, push him in front of a bus, or, you know, he falls down a manhole, something clever. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have the secret police yet, so we'll have to just hold off and let, uh, let the poor doctor air his grievances and we'll move on with our lives. What do we have here? Presidente, the population of St. Clara has been increasing steadily. It's time to consider we need more building more food producers. Food on the island. We need more we need more cheese. Okay. So people are uh, worried about being hungry. Our food quality is at 55 of 60. So let's uh, let's do two things. Okay. We're steadily getting people now we're at 70 so we do need to build something but I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the ante here I'm, I'm not just gonna build a tenement I'm gonna build an apartment block I'm gonna do an upgrade here for uh, for these fuckers 
You'll need blueprints and I'll even pay the two grand to get the blueprints. Purchasing blueprints with an... There we are. We'll put it over here, kind of, kind of by the high school. Yeah, how about, how about over here? It's kind of away from the high school. Maybe raise the property value there a little bit. Knock out some of our shanties. And then we're also going to, because people are concerned about the food, not the food quality, but the amount of food, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to build a ranch. Build a ranch. So, so let's go to the green, goats, llamas. So where's a good spot to build? Um, that's okay over here. It's all right over there. The prime real estate's right here in the middle, but you know that's downtown. We can't really do it, so we got to move out. We got to move out here. So we're gonna go out here into the sticks a little bit. Put them out there. Let's get a road going out. I don't want to go right through that. I don't want to go right through that. Um, can I go straight? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go straight. Eh, that's pretty straight. I don't, you know, it's like that's a crappy place to for, you know, the road right by this dude's house. Well, that's. Oh wait a minute, that's a stupid farm. So that's fine. Yeah. No one's living in there. They're living in the shanties over here. Until my beautiful new uh, apartment building is built over here. Come and knock on our door. How come these aren't being built, man? Dude. Okay, there, they're finally getting out there. Look at them, look how slow they are. So we've got that coming up, we've got that coming up. We're, uh, tobacco, where's my tobacco? They've got 163 output, uh, that's it. It's not much, not much. Okay, so food quality's on the rise. I'm sure once this thing gets built uh, over here shortly, Things will improve. Uh, uh, that, that's not happening anytime soon either. These guys are just, uh, they're just slow poking it. Here, okay. One fisherman, two fishermen. Come on, boys, get out there. We need some fish. We need some fish. There should be a dock uh, arrival here in a moment. Yep, there it is. The freighter's coming in. What do we got? What, what are they bringing us? Something good, I hope. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Five new immigrants. Okay, I'll take that. That's all right. That's all right. And then uh, we'll probably export a few dollars worth of stuff. I'm hoping. Look around, Presidente. See the overflowing garbage cans. See the toxic yeah. fumes in the air. See how Mother oh, Nature yeah, boo -boo. suffers. Okay. So we got some financial aid. From the U.S. and USSR, now we're at 30 grand, so we got some money to spend. All right, so another apartment block they're su suggesting. So um, and you know what? We should probably uh, oblige because I think uh, I think things are about to expand and explode here, this young Tropican island. So let's. Uh, you know, actually, before I do that, I'm going to I'm going to do something a little unorthodox here. I'm going to build another construction office because they're not very expensive I'll put it right here it seems to be a good spot for it right here at the edge, edge of the road what do you think right there bang our hot topic today the environment i believe you have something to say sonny dear tropicans we are all criminals criminals against mother nature take a look at our once beautiful beaches now polluted Take a look at the mounds of garbage, the is toxic really that? waste. Garbage, this is everyone. our doing, and we should do everything uh -huh. in our power to undo it. That's it for the environment. Next week, library <laughs> subscription fees. Well, okay, so we, we've got some cleanup here to do. I mean, these guys are on uh, selective harvest. I mean, I could probably Im uh, improve the situation here slightly by, um, well... No, that's not doing anything. Trees regrow twice as fast. That's that's a good investment. And then this is also a good investment. Tool shop. Trees are cut 60% faster, so we can start cranking out. It's three grand off the top, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Need the cattle ranch up and running. 
construction office is being built and as soon as that that is done then we'll double the number of production workers and uh, start getting stuff built a lot faster. So why don't we start planning ahead for that now. Another apartment building. We'll call this the Siesta Del Mar. Is that something? You guys speak Spanish? Siesta Del Mar? Does that mean something? It sounds nice. The workforce of the island is simply not enough. Some buildings operate at very low efficiency. He's right. We need an, uh, some sort of immigration office to start bringing people in because this place is about to go hog wild off the hizzy. Okay, here's the immigration. Open doors. So we're just going to bring everyone in. We need to get it built, though. Is this guy built yet? Oh, where, where did everybody go? How much is it to quick build? 1600? No. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. I need this thing built now. People, come start working to build. Watch, just all, everyone in this one is just gonna, they're all just gonna come over here and start working in this one. Right? Who's this young go-getter? Leo Antone. Excellent. fella. We built this city on Pachanga. I don't know what that is, but he's right. He's an intellectual communist and an environmentalist. He's uh, got above average leadership. I like that. Look, all of his needs are fulfilled here. He's, except for food. He's a little hungry. Aside from that, he just about got hit by a pink car. Okay, so we're not going to hit the tobacco anytime soon. These guys are slow going and producing. Uh, they've got 538 on the way out so far. So um, I think we might one more season and then they'll, uh, they'll be able to pump that out nicely. The high school is built. Let's see what's going on there. Wow. We got a lot of teachers. I'm going to press X in order to disable a slot because right now we have about five high school teachers and we only have three students. So they're getting like really good attention right now. They don't need that much attention. Trust me, no one wants that much attention in high school. And two graduates already. That was quick. Okay, so this thing's on its way up. And very soon this to be as well. As soon as we get a few more people to... Okay, look at that. Alright. We're doing well. We're doing well. Happiness is on the way up. We're at 49% currently, 74% population, 74 population rather. And they're building the ranch. There he is. Five new immigrants. And this will be built next. Okay, so let's uh, let's crank out this uh, tobacco. Excellent work, Presidente. Thanks to our tobacco Beautiful. experts, we now have a steady Let's call revenue us, uh, Saint stream. St. Marlboro over here. Whew, 10,000. Beautiful. All right. Food quality is on its way there. I'm pretty sure as soon as we get this thing built here, like it's already at 58 of 60, that will be complete soon. Uh, we just need to really get the fish uh, fish on the go here. And these guys are uh, they are working. They just really started this season. Uh, they've already put out 100 and, uh, 140 units, 36 meals provided. So that's where the food quality bump is coming from right now, from these fishermen. So go thank your local Squiddy. Okay. All right, so I think, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please uh, leave a like or a favorite or subscribe or whatever the YouTubers say. I don't know. Um, and uh, come back and check back in, a, in about a week or so, and uh, maybe you'll have some Tropical 5 gameplay. I'm um, really looking forward to it. I hope you are too. See ya, YouTubes.
That'll do it, right? Is that it? 